Let her pass. Outlander, Chief Akaro and Marshal Catalo await you within. The cool route should be starting soon. Once it's done, I'll be able to access the chamber below Hikaro's throne. And Ether. Outlander, the chief awaits you in the arena, past the throne. This must lead to the arena. It's another part of the ruins. Turned into a fighting ring. Look at them all. They know what that was coming. Aloy, it seems you've had to move mountains to bring the Sky Clan to heal. Literally. Catalo helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. You both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come for me. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end, as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Catalo. There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Through the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. You will be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. The grove, the arena, it's all part of the same ancient structure? Yes. Here the land remembers the sacrifice of the Ten. Their deeds commemorated for eternity. Sacrifice? The visions tell us that on the ground below, they gave their lives in a fight against machines. We honored them by holding the cool route where they fell. I know where I'll be. What about you two? I will be here with the Chief, where I belong. Should the fight reach us, we will take the blood owed for our fallen. If it comes to that, the defenses will hold. Let's get this over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the North Barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the Ten. I'll see you when this is done. This is a ceremony not encouraged. encouraged. Be vigilant. We must stand firm against Regala. Hikaro must think Leave his him favorites alone. will win the honor today. The final battle with Regala is nigh. I can feel it. Mr. Kote, this thugs, of course. Look, comrade. Chief's champion. What an honor. May your enemies fall. Easterner. Didn't think the Sky Commander himself would be joining us today. If there's a chance my challengers will be facing Regala, it is only right their commander join in their fate. Or maybe you need to save face after what happened at the Bulwark. Careful now. Sometimes sharp wits bring out sharp spears. I'd save my spear for Regala's troops, if I were you. Okay. 
Okay. Hikaru's defenders should be at the end of this trench. And look, we are not alone in this fight. Focus on the machines. Take them down, and Regala's forces become no different from our own. Yes, Chaplain. Watch each other's backs. Dismissed. Our soldiers are ready. They will defend the cool route from below, but from above. Not bad. Where did you get it? One of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. The honor is yours. Regala may have her tricks, but you will show her our teeth. The cool root is upon us! Our struggle demands new blood! New leaders! Release the quarry! Challengers! Approach! Take down a machine. Shall be named Marshall. Remember the ten. Strike from the air as they did, and seize your glory.
Let's bring this 
I gotta get to them. Isn't finished. I'll be back with everything I have. And all who stand with Hakaro will be run red. At attention. You fought well. Proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh. I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. I failed. I should have finished Radala. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then. But I believe in you now, so leave me and get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there. Take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the Ten.
was this place? There. That console. Come on, Aether. Time to go home. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Ether subordinate function to original code. Got it. Now to get this back to Gaia. The vision from the globe has changed. The visions throughout the grove are different now. And this one, it, it just appeared. Is this your doing? The visions have changed. That's the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines, scarcity of food and water, Storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest, has strengthened my conviction. That when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction. As we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. It is what I choose. How can I say no to that? So, there's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. Walk with strength. All right, I need to get Ether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms too. 
Might be worth checking out. Full striper don't even bother. And begin. In the time it would take me to get a full stripe at a trial, I could earn three half stripes. I heard you got some fresh ink. What'd you do? Took down a ravager the last time I was out in the wild. I better let me call it. Don't sound like rebels. 
Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. The land out here is sick with blight, too. But we'll be able to heal all of it. Once Gaia is strong enough to capture Hephaestus. Like this? Oh, uh, <laughs> you're not waving a hammer around, Aaron. Try a gentler touch. And my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha. They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Baron, you're all better. And you're here. Well, the world only goes on if you can do your thing. We learn fast enough, we help make that happen. You want all the backup you can get, right? We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I'm seeing glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. Oh, and I delivered your message to Talana. She headed for that Asaram camp you two were looking for, to the southwest. I wouldn't have taught you the song if I didn't like the way you sing it. So you like hearing me butcher Utaru music? Hey. Hey. A yeah, nice place. Well, it's not like I built it or anything. Right. Well, I can see why you, uh, why you had your doubts about bringing us along. There's a lot to take in, but uh, don't worry. <laughs> There's nothing I can't handle. Right. I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah. <laughs> You and me both. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I'm still trying to wrap my head around most of it, but 
I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sundom. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? It takes some time, but yeah. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land when he's not getting all tongue-tied. I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. I better go. Right. Uh, I'll leave you to it. Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. Holograms? Gaia, I thought you said the data here was lost. I was able to repurpose the equipment to store the data you have acquired in your travels. Pizza? Apparently it tastes worse the longer it takes to be delivered. Or something like that. Maybe you can find the recipe? I think it was just flat bread. With cheese. And some sauce. Huh. Looks like someone's rearranged stuff in here. Aloy, I see you found your room. Your companions thought you would appreciate a private space of your own. I was thoughtful of them. This is the rite of passage that Vashav gave me at the embassy. I liked him. He seemed like a good man. I think he was really looking forward to going home. My old spear. Rust helped me make it. When I finished my training. Feels like so long ago now. I've been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. But since we're gonna stay a while, I think I'll keep it here, where it'll be safe. merge ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Eleuthia frequency. Eleuthia? That's one of the sub-functions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone, or something else. You don't think it's actually Eleuthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help.
Why would Eleuthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Eleuthia is in trouble, and sent the message hoping you were out there. Or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Eleuthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus, the Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So... Maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond, and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. All right. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. Check it out when I can. Yeah, that one was called Hades. Huh. And you said Aloy ended it for good, right? But Gaia doesn't need it? I think we're all better off without it. <laughs> there she is. You ready to head out? Let's go. Look at us. Three battle-hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. 